What up, y'all? It's T-Biz again. We got a new action figure from uh, good old Marvel Legends. Good old Hasbro. I'm a Hasbro. But anyways, um, they got with the Ghost Rider, man. Flame Chain with the Flame Chain. And uh, Chain et Flamme. But anyways, um, yeah, this is Ghost Rider. This is like straight out, like I guess from the mid-90s, the uh, vintage cards and stuff, the retro cards. In that series where you got like Johnny Blaze, Danny Ketch vengeance and all those guys and um i forget the other dude's name i used to actually have most of them like pretty much all of them on card but i got rid of them anyway so i kind of want to get them again but uh they, i wonder if this will make them go up in value but the thing is hasbro has just released one i guess for the was it the is it 30th or 40th anniversary of uh, ghost rider i can't remember what the anniversary is but uh what the number is i forget but anyways um yeah uh we get a johnny blaze we don't get a danny catch we don't get the Ghost Rider on the horse, the original Ghost Rider. Um, we get uh, Johnny Blaze, which we've had a lot of Johnny Blazes, which is cool. He's he's like the first motorcycle, um, you know, Ghost Rider from the 70s, 70s and 80s. And then Danny Ketch for me was my Ghost Rider in the 90s. But after discovering Danny Ketch in the 90s, like when I was like in junior high, um, from that wave of Mark uh, Texario was drawing him and stuff. Uh, I went back and I found a bunch of old back issues of uh, like the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider and stuff like that. And it was cool, man. And I uh, wish I still had those issues. Don't anymore, but I think they fetch a good dime. But you can go on, um, I think, Marvel Unlimited and you can get those for real cheap. Or you can get like a whole like compendium of those digitally and digitally read them comics. Anyways, the same for all the Ghost Rider stuff pretty much right now. Um, even the uh, Robbie Reyes stuff or whatever. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, we got the, th the thing I want to say about this too before I get all over the place, which I'm already am, is that um, Marvel Legends people, people that do the Marvel Legends, you could do more. Just do this, a bunch of these figures on this card. We've had all kinds of Avengers. We've had all kinds of Thor. We've had all kinds of Black Panther. We've had all kinds of Spider Man. We've had all kinds of X Men. Let's get some Ghost Rider stuff. I, I don't know what they're smoking or what they're snorting or what what's with them, but like at Hasbro, at least not with Hasbro, but at least with their Marvel Legends team. Just, just, oh, just do it, man. It's like you put out the Eternals. Nobody gave a damn about those Eternals because they didn't look like anything. Like if if they would have looked like um, Jack Kirby characters with Jack Kirby design and art, maybe people would have cared about the Eternals. But no, they just look like basic ass people. So nobody gave a shit. But these are actually, but Ghost Rider is some, something that people do give a shit about. And we would like to see more Ghost Rider characters, even a Danny Ketch, and a lot more stuff for Ghost Rider, man. I was down for the car. A lot of people were hating on it. A lot of people didn't want to do it. I had the money. I still do. And yeah, I wanted to get that damn car. But yeah, it wasn't going to happen. Because um, everybody's lame on YouTube. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know, anyways, uh, yeah, it's a retro card, real nice, thirty thick, sturdy thick card, because you can see it's just one long card that's bent, so these are, there's the hinge right there, but yeah, so there you got the, yeah, it's the, straight up like the old 90s retro cards, so that's pretty cool, shows you where you put everything and all that, and uh, the flame chain, wielding supernatural abilities and weapons, from the back of his flaming motorcycle, Ghost Rider roams the mortal world as the spirit of vengeance. And I believe I read this not too long ago. Um, they did a reboot of the new, of Johnny Blaze again, and it was pretty badass. I read it on you know my Marvel Unlimited, and uh, yeah, bought bought like a whole like I guess like graphic novel or whatever, and read it or story arc and read it, and it was awesome. But anyways, I'm gonna shut up now, and we're gonna hopefully get this figure open. Once again, card art is awesome, really rad. But we gotta we gotta rip them open and get it out, man. All right, folks. Here's our crouching Ghost Rider out of the box. Um, he's the guy he has no bike to put him on, which would be cool. But we're not getting it. And um, other than that, uh, at least right now. And uh, there's been some other ones in the past. There's the old Toy Biz one. There was uh, I think they did the movie Johnny Blaze and all that stuff like that. Um, I guess you could buy like some of the like the what was it, the Wolverine had a bike and then the Punisher had a bike, so you get one of those maybe put them on one of those or whatever. And then there was the Cosmic Ghost Rider. There was that Ghost Rider from like what a decade ago, from like a way early wave when Marvel Legends used to be like what 13, 14 bucks, if not cheaper. And uh, he had the blue flames and stuff. And then you had another 
Didn't we get another Johnny Blaze? Like, even not a little bit after that? But anyways, let's check him out, man. Not sure if this is the same one, but man, they could easily do a Danny Catch, man. Easily with this skull, especially with this skull, man. That's rad. Kind of might, reminds me of the Mark Tex area art. But yeah, he looks cool, man. I like the design. That's rad. That is cool. I like his boots. It's pretty dope, man. And I guess if you just wanted to have him stand in and be, I don't know, you could have your Ghost Rider be whatever he wants to be. You could use your imagination. It is a toy, after all. But yeah, he's got the chain wrapped around him. I like the boots. The boots are killer. Really cool boots. He's got double knees, upper thigh cut. Doesn't do splitsies. But yeah. Really cool. Rocker pivot swivel hinge and all that on his foot on his feet yeah dude he's really cool i really dig him man really freaking dig him double elbows and all that jazz bicep not really so much of a butterfly but it's like that's a weird cut right there on his upper chest or whatever and his shoulders that is a weird kind of cut it's kind of strange, but it works, I suppose. Kind of wish his shoulders could straighten out a little bit, but they don't. Um, other than that, yeah, he's not too bad. Um, the skull sculpt is awesome with the flames. Let's get a closer look at that. That's rad, man. He looks cool. Really dig it. And he's got the skull neck. That is cool. The flames. That is awesome. And then he comes with his accessories. He's got his chain whip. So when he takes his chain off or whatever. Yeah, dude, you can just whip some butt with that. That's rad, dude. I like how it's translucent. It's like painted silver, but gradually goes like in a translucent burning molten flame. So you could smack the crap out of somebody or cauterize something. Um, he comes with the flamey wisps, which we've seen these with a lot of figures that we have. So that's cool. That's always an extra bonus. Um, here's the Johnny Blaze flaming head with his eyes just like burning red. He's like in pain. It's like, oh. Blonde hair turning into flames. That's rad. That is pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. He's got flaming hands. That's cool. There's a nice red and orange right there. And it is translucent, but it's, the bone uh, fingers are painted, so that's cool. And you got a hinge on that to pop in, so that's cool too. Really rad, dude. That's cool. That's really cool. Let's do a head swap with them real quick. All right, just a little bit better look at that neck. This is rad. Oh, that's cool, man. That's freaking cool. And then if you get the light behind him a little bit, yeah, see that how it's in, like, barely see his face, but the translucent, translucence of the plastic is rad. That is freaking awesome. That works really well. That's very cool, man. Super awesome, dude. You can do the same with the skull. Let's do that real quick. But yeah, you get the idea. Maybe not working that well, but you get the idea what you can do with it. So that's cool. Now let's go ahead and get these hands on him. Gotta say, this is hella cool. You can have him posed like he's bursting into flames, summoning the spirit of vengeance into his body. And uh, yeah, man, just... That's cool. That's cool, dude. That is really cool. That's rad, dude. Becoming one... The union with the spirit with Zarathos, man. It's like, that's cool. That's rad. That is freaking cool. That is rad. Because it's good that you can have his, uh, got that crunch. So he's like, ah! I can pose the crap out of him, dude. So yeah. Like, let's see if we can get a bent. Like, yeah, dude, that's a good pose right there. That's a good freaking pose. And his eyes really pop with the light, that red paint. That red paint's cool as hell, dude. It's a good figure, dude. It's a good ass figure. I don't know why. It's really good. And here we have him posed with his hand out with the flame wisps on him, dude. With his uh, chain whip, with his flaming chain whip. He's rad, man. 
It's ready to make you pay for your sins. That's rad, dude. Really cool. Let's get a little bit of a close up there. That is freaking sweet, man. Really sweet. It was a good figure, man. I'm glad. I'm glad I got him, man. I'm glad I went and dipped in because I didn't know they were shipping, and uh, yeah, I shipped pretty fast. And uh, let's close his jaw a bit. I keep it totally open, but yeah, that, that's a rad figure. He looks so sinister like that, dude. That is so freaking cool. He's the best like anti-hero ever, dude. To be honest with you, and I like that you can have a gloved hand and you can have the bone flaming hand. So that's freaking cool, dude. He just looks wicked cool. Wicked cool. All right, Marvel Legends people, we need more Ghost Rider figures. This figure is badass. Please give us more. We're down. We'll give you the money. Take a break on all the everybody else, dude, because we, we've, we've been through that a dozen times. And they're cool. Don't get me wrong. I like them. I've been on the Marvel Legends bandwagon again, but I'd love to see more Ghost Rider stuff. I really would. Anyways, uh, that's it for our Ghost Rider review. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I think he's rad. Anyways. Yeah, y'all have a good one. All right, later.